I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living. So I've gathered up a few old friends, and we're having an absolute blast doing things we've never done before, going places we've never gone before. This is Erie Extreme. I'm Don. And I'm Sissy. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Erie, Erie Extreme. Extreme. <laughs> what? So you need to have your kayak registered, huh? Yeah. Bonafide. And then it's $10 for a year or $18 for a two year. So by doing the two year, you save $2. Yeah. Here you go, Booby. Cool. Thank you much. You're welcome. I know. Oh, you're welcome. I hate it. <laughs> What are you doing? Doing it again. Take two. And giving Nate his launch permit. Yeah. Here you go, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with my phone. What was different about that? Um, I'm just sitting here debating on whether to leave the tag on my hat. Dude, I don't have time for this. Alright, <laughs> I'm loading up the truck. What hat? What are you talking about? I got a new hat. It's got a tag on it. I think I'm gonna rip it off. Um, I think maybe you should leave. On the hat. In that case, I'm taking it off. This challenge came to us from Bud's wife in Crawford County, PA. What? That's what it said, Bud's wife. Anyway, according to the French Creek Conservatory, there are 88 species of fish in French Creek. Bud's wife challenges you to do something that her husband has been able to do in more than 55 years of fishing the creek. Catch just five of them. There's no time limit for this one, but you have to do it in one trip. Scary. Best wishes. Hey, did you call me? No. Oh, uh, must have been a uh, message before. Okay, bye. All right, you excited? Yeah. We're heading to French Creek. I think it really is going to be a tough challenge. Dude, I'm going to pull over here. I think we're gonna put in there. The current goes that way, but I'm wondering if we should try to find another bridge. See, that goes all the way to Union City Dam. Don't tell me you're on a challenge. Okay, cross the bridge. We're gonna go across the bridge and down the road here. To, there's a first road to your left. So what do you have to do for your challenge? Catch five species out of French Creek. Okay. And since there's 126 of them, that sounds like it. it should be easy, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. You can follow me, I'll take you right there. So, you just never know what's gonna happen. Get the rendezvous. The rendezvous. Oh, we got a yield sign. Round the boot. Round the boot. Sorry. Snooze you lose. Hey, we just went through a round the boot. But where are you at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we forgot the camera batteries and the microphone, so Terry had to go all the way back to my house, which is like a half hour away. Hold on a second. Let me grab this. Hold on. Yo. I'm at Kaplan's. I stopped driving. I have the umbrellas and the batteries and the mic. Hold tight right by that round the boot. <laughs> John is at a different location and we're on the creek in a different place. So we're, we're going to all touch base in about five minutes. Okay. Don't move. I'll get back. I'm not. John. Come on. Yeah. Let me call you right back. If you go down here when you're going down. We get involved with eight days of hope. We've been down to Houston to rebuild Boy, homes sister. from across the United States and seven countries out there being the hands and feet of Jesus and helping strangers. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Hey, do you know how to get to Dewey Road? If I go around the roundabout and keep going straight through it, isn't it your first right after that? No idea. And it's not roundabout, it's roundabout. <laughs> hey, what you wearing? Nothing. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's Terry. Well, we're three minutes into the show already, and it seems like we'll never get on the water. But oh, look. Rusty, you're still watching. Okay. All right, thank you again. Enter John Harley. Oh, man. <laughs> Do not miss that. So John hates cameras, but he loves float trips. So I invited him as our expert for the day. I wrote on your truck. No. <laughs> don't get all set up yet, because we don't know what we're doing. You actually thought we knew what we were doing. You know, for a half a second I did. My fault, my wrong. I wasn't thinking. What are we doing? Um, did you that realize was riding that? back here upside down like this the whole way? The whole way, man. No, actually, I had it up here. John, come here. on. It's not on. Come on, look. It's come on, we're twin peaks. Come on. Wait, you got to wear a different shirt I, then. Oh, I have to change? Yeah. Hi, it looks good in the fishing online shirt. It's too many. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it depends on how long you want to go. Well, how long will it take us? We've never done this before. 
We gotta catch five different I usually species. walk. I mean, it really depends on how much you stop and fish little areas. Oh my gosh, it's like 85 degrees out. I know, but it's gonna, you're gonna sweat profusely. <laughs> is profusely a word? It is a word. I'm surprised you have that in your vocabulary. Right, so that's, that's pretty good. That's a long one for me. You guys gotta drop, we gotta leave a vehicle down there. Where is down? Why don't you leave I'm your drop vehicle down there because you know where it is. Because and we they, got the most work to do to get ready. So I have to drive down there. It's not, it's two miles away. Okay. And the batteries were only what, 12 miles away? You are such a good driver. I mean, you do a great job. But you guys both got to go. Yeah, because I need to get back. So he can drive. Doesn't Why don't you just make me walk? You could swim. <laughs> just go ahead and turn that off and leave it off and then it'll go faster. See what I got to deal with? I'm going to Come here, you. come I here. I know how to get back. No, you don't know where we're going. No, I don't. Why don't you just give me an address or a crossroad Because there is no. Can you not see at I all? Can't, well, if you would let me Flats hold the road. phone for a There's second. There's Flats Road. You're going to take the it. first right. Okay. Is it actual street or is it like it's a, a street. just a road? It's a, I mean like a driver. Remember how we found the lady's house? It's a road. Okay. Hopefully they don't get lost. Well, amazingly, the boys made it back unharmed. God, there's so many gadgets with these things. I know. What is that? It's an anchor. Where'd you get it? From John. So we got the yaks rigged, the trucks parked, and we're ready to float. The challenge is five different species. So we think we're gonna fail this one. Usually we think we're gonna win. This time we kind of know we're gonna not win. Where's my sunglasses? So we're just gonna have fun. Catch bass, pray we catch a pike, a walleye, Rock bass and a sucker. Oh, I'm in. Good Al. Oh, this is great. I like <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You gonna do I that for four miles? Off. We're gonna go upstream just a little ways before we start our four mile journey downstream. These things cut the current really nice though. So I used to wade this creek when I was a kid. I gotta tell you. Floating, way better. There's one. It's got a fish. I think it might what be a pike. It? Nice one. All right, that's one down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it ain't in the net yet. Dude, nice. that's a nice one. Yeah, let me come over to you, John. Well, there's the small mouth. Well, that's, I'm good for that. You gotta catch the rest. <laughs> you guys ready? We're paddling, no fishing. Let's go. We got a long way to go. Please support our Season 3 partners, Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, Fishing Online, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. Before we start our float downstream, I got one area I want to check upstream first. Watch for snakes. Heaven is right there, just so you know. We're going to start fishing like up there at that island where you can see right there. Now we got to make sure Terry doesn't drop the camera in the water. So we get all the way up here and I finally make my first cast of the day. I got one. I got one. Big one. It's a pike. Oh man. I gotta bring him over this grass. Yeah. He's mine, bro. He doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't know what's going on. Ha ha ha, dude. That's a bonus right there. There he goes. We're downstream the rest of the way. Okay. That was definitely worth it. He's got one. Nate's got one. Baby large mouth. We might beat this thing in the, under the first hour. I know, but we're gonna have to keep going. This is too much fun. Okay, right, so is that verified then? Yeah, it's verified. It's verified. Wait, wait, I wanna see, make sure it's a large mouth. Yes, that's a large mouth. Okay. There you go, buddy. 
This is a pretty amazing start. We've only been on the water for 45 minutes and most of it was walking. Definitely gonna get a bite. You see it? A lot of times they hit it right off the bat. There's one. Hey, John's got one. Man, this is fun. Large mouth. What is it? Large mouth. Actually, upon further inspection by the master verifier, that's a small mouth. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, check the radar. It doesn't look too promising right now. No. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. I got it. That was it. a three and a half pounder. Oh my gosh, that scared the daylights out of me. And <laughs> that was a big one. We will not catch one bigger than that today. Nate's got one. How big, Nate? Okay, you see that grass patch down there by those rocks? I'm just throwing a little bit down further. Yep, good. In the grass. You see where I'm at? Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's a big, another big one. Oh, it's a pike again. What a bite that was. Is there anything better than that? Got him. Topwater bites are tough to beat. Wow. We're fishing with buzz baits today, and as you've seen already, it's a fun way to fish. I hear birds. I got headphones on. I can't. Those are bullfrogs. Those are birds. Really? It's funny. They sound a lot like bullfrogs. There's one. Oh, it's off. That was a big one too, man. That's right. It felt pretty good. Got one. I got gotcha. you. Smalley. <laughs> he got off. Sucker. Yeah, we got a storm coming. We should check the radar. Thankfully, the storm's gonna pass just south of us. Perfect. This is like... Heaven. Yeah, this is the most fun I've had on a shoot next to Frank and Fred. Yeah, I remember Frank and Fred, and I'm glad Skippy's having fun. But he almost got us killed driving those horses, and he's not much better at driving a kayak. Oh, this is awesome. Hold on, I'm turning the wrong way. Crap. Do something profound. Don't hit me. I'm trying not to. You're gonna go right through this I gap. I know right that. Here. You just relax. No, you don't. You don't know. Dude, yes, I do. Watch that tree. Battle. Don't Battle. get in the tree. You gotta go this way right now. Ramming speed. Hurry up. Why ah. doesn't he ever listen? Oh no. I'm glad that didn't snap. The stickfish count. Sure, why not? It was in the creek. It's a species, right? Got it then. So we made it back down to the bridge. Uh, it took a lot longer than we thought. So we got to figure out exactly what we want to do now. <laughs> Here, are we ready? Yep. What time is it? It's five o'clock. We got enough time, John? It's, if we nine don't. Nine o'clock when we get to the place. If we don't keep. Stopping, I Actually, believe. you know what? I'm not really sure. If we paddle, we can make it faster. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's just paddle. Follow, so let's just turn. fish our way and. Yeah. Be careful, people. Be careful right through there. Man, this is awesome. I'll tell you what, though, these things do have a really low draft. I mean, I just went over one. I thought I was going to drill. Oh, got one. You rolling, T? What is it? Smallmouth, little one. Three smallmouth, right? Three smallmouth and two pike. Nathan, how many bass have you caught? Two? And I got three and John has two? You just need two more species. We're not gonna catch, spe the only one that has a chance fishing the way he's fishing is John at a walleye. Oh, I just missed, yeah, I got him. Oh, he got off. Oh man, there's a musky coming your way. Yeah, see if you see it. There's a muskie, John. Where at? It swam right under my kayak and went that way. And I just missed the bath at the same exact time. I don't got very good aim. Oh! Oh, he jumped right in the boat. Oh, there's one. This is just like I remember it. It's way more fun out of a kayak though than walking. Like I'm throwing the exact same bait that I threw way back then. Nothing better than a top water bite. Are you fishing out of a 10 or a 12? 
Nate's in a 10, so he's the only 10 we got here. There is nothing better than this thing. Fishing machine. This makes it where all these accessories, like the cup holder and all this fancy well, see, that's stuff. That's the thing, there's always something you could add to it. Always it's, something. And it's something if someone just wants to spend 20 bucks to get that something, it's perfect. Oh, there we go. Oh. That was a panfish. There goes species number four. I know this looks like one of those Bigfoot photos, but I'm fairly confident that was a bluegill. Got one, big one, not a big one, small mouth. This is much better than catfishing. Yeah, Eating chalk is better than catfishing. I love chalk. Got one. Small mouth, little one. Oh man, this is my first rapid experience. John, is this safe? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. That was awesome, dude. This whole experience so far has been awesome. And to think it would have never happened without getting this challenge, this is literally why we do this show. But we still need to win. We need a muskie, walleye, rock bass, anything. I just had a 30 plus inch muskie eat my bait. Follow it, I seen the weight coming, he ate it in slow motion and I did not get him. Super deep hole coming out of that. That stinks, still sitting on three species. Yeah, he's gone. Oh! Was it him? I mean, I saw it, it was a muskie. Like there was no, maybe it was a muskie. It was like freaking right there, blew it. Any cast could be the one. Just to, oh, there one. Lost them. that was bad. Looks like we're gonna be able to paddle through a lot of this right through here. Got one. Little one, we need big ones. Come on, Beggins. Even though some are smaller, we've caught 26 fish between the three of us. And if you count all our misses, that's a lot of bites already. Oh, another one. Oh, he got off, sucker. Oh yeah, I don't know what it is. Biker musky. Nope, no mouth. Wow, I am misjudging that. That's a decent one right there. Yeah, these fish are easy to misjudge. Having to spend all their lives in the current makes them extra strong for their size. Come on, my brother. Speaking of size. There we go. Uh oh, nice fish. Is that a rock? I think it's a small mouth. Are you rolling, T? Yep. Oh my gosh! Dude, that's a nice one. John's got a big one. Look at that. For this, for French Creek, this is a nice small knife. <laughs> Who's got who? You gonna catch him or what? Okay. How big is it? Looks like a three pounder. That's a good shot right there. So probably one of my most asked questions is what are those sticks on the back of your boat and your kayak? They're called power poles. And here's a good example of how they work and why they're such a valuable tool. I've caught countless fish that I would never have caught without them. Kind of like this one. Big, big one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Come here, boy. Crazy. After all those little ones, there's two big ones back to back. I should use my net. That's a good idea. <laughs> my first time using the Yak Attack net. Boy, look at this thing, how perfect it is for one hand. Come on, get in this boat. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That's a big French Crick bass right there. That is a slaunch. Nice one. I liked it better when there was no sun, but it sure is pretty, is it not? Yeah. Lovely. This right here? This is my friend John. John's a professional supermodel, but he just doesn't do it for cameras. He does it in his bedroom by himself where it's <laughs> private. Because he doesn't like to show off. He just poses in front of the mirror, which I think is respectable. I am not commenting on that. <laughs> GoPro highlight. I don't care if we don't catch two more species, to be honest. Oh, what do you got? Walleye, maybe? I don't know. 
Oh my gosh, get him. Oh yeah. Got it. Yes. Wow. That's four species. Whoa, I got a bass. Dang, they get you soaking wet in the kayaks, man. Nice one. They always got to do that to you. Hold that baby up, John. That's our first double. Nice. So one more species left. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let me see them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. That's four species. And you had a panfish of some kind. What do you think it was? Bluegill or a crappie. It looked like a bluegill, but I'm assuming it was a crappie. I cannot believe you just caught that. That's freaking awesome. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's good right where I went. Oh yeah. There's one. Go for a highlight. We got four species and you guys better catch one more. Yeah, we need to pick up the pace. I just looked and we're not too far. <laughs> we definitely need to pick up the pace some because we didn't get too far from the <laughs> take out so far. Now there, you're getting a creative shot now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you stop talking and catch a fish? <laughs> Why would I do that? Hold on, this is real nice. Got one. You don't film them when I catch them. Just saying. It's little, but it. it's fun. Oh. Oh, he's got a big one. He's got a nice one. That's another double. That's our third double. Yeah. Nice. These bass are fun, but we need our fifth species like right now. It's getting late. Nice. We do need a rock bass. You, have you been throwing that drop shot? You need to throw that. It'll catch something little and then we will win. Oh my gosh, there it is right there. Bowfin. They usually bite too. They're crazy. Hey, there's a bowfin around that tree. In an earlier episode, we were trying to catch a walleye in French Creek when there was snow on the ground. <laughs> this is where we were, where a fire blew up. We almost died. Whoa. What was that? Rock exploded. Caught a muskie off that tree right there. <clears throat> so we know there's a muskie possibility. Oh, I just missed. That's also the day we saw that strange mystery poop. So it's a sentimental place. Oh, nice shot with the trees right there. That was cool. What? You're going to get a shot of me flipping over on this rock I'm about to drill. That'll be even cooler. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> That's cool how these things just float right over that stuff. Uh oh, I'm seeing one coming. Are these power poles cool or what? I had a huge fish. Dude, I can't stop. Don't hit me. I'm not, but I can't stop. <laughs> There's a rainbow. See the rainbow? Right there. I don't even see it. Well, you gotta look at it. <laughs> John, you know any cameramen? Uh, Please, tell them yes. <laughs> Where do you see a rainbow? This is like the perfect day. Where, I'm gonna look. The camera, oh, aim the camera. I see it now. It is, it's like the perfect day. That is awesome. I don't think we ever got a rainbow on It's getting brighter, on too. Footage. If we're here, we're definitely not far from that bit bridge. Yeah, but we need a ride from that bridge. Come on, boys. Paddle on, paddle on. Catch a fish. Begging. I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of the beauty. Keep on trucking. We definitely don't want to be in these here, here waters in the dark. Holy crap. Oh, Lord, why? Terry, if you can stop. right on the other Go side that of way. the uh... big muscle. That wasn't a little one either. It was four. Go that way. I'm trying, Dave. It was a huge muscle. On the other side of that. Go camera. that way. I'm trying. You're drifting way too close to it. Nate, it was 45 plus, this big. It sounded like a monkey jumped out of the tree. I thought something fell out of the tree. <laughs> Where should I stop that so I don't get in the way? We didn't have no camera, no footage at all of it. Except this. This is all we got. Oh well. So we're gonna keep on trucking, I guess. Maybe you'll get lucky and catch it, one of you guys. Missed them. You know, forget the challenge. 
It's just our luck. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen in French Creek. Look at that tree, how cool that looks. I know, there's been a couple of them like that. We gotta get a ride. This is really gonna get interesting. Well, why don't we just keep paddling, dude, and go to where we're gonna go and paddle. You know, I'll just paddle and I'll wait for it. We're, we're go that's the bridge right there. Yeah, I know, but we have to go to the next bridge to get our... Yeah, I know, but we need a ride. We're paddling to where we're, to this bridge I'm, I'm right there. where it is. It's not that far from here. It's, it's like two miles. hours floating. No, it isn't. You drove it by car, but you must have been talking on the phone, not really paying attention. It is a mud fest. We're going to get my kayak up out of this uh, area. I'm going to walk over, talk to some neighbors, explain the situation, see if I can get a ride to my truck. I'll explain the situation. We failed, and this is our punishment. Okay, you're going to have to put the tripod down because we need three people. I know these, I can't, no traction. It's caught on something. This is fun. Well, what can I say? Thanks for the challenge, Bud's wife. Today was perfect at time, until this nightmare ending. Thanks for introducing us to this. <laughs> it was fun up until now. You know that, Dave? What? It didn't seem that long to uh, John and I because, because you were we talking kept on the phone. stopping. That's and what I. Checking places and then stopping and checking places. Yeah, that's kind of what I said. We saw three muskies, a bowfin, lost a bluegill. John caught a stick. I'm disappointed that we lost, but I'm excited about our next and final challenge of the season. Thanks to John, Nate, Terry, and Dave for the ride. Can we go home now? How about you guys? I'm pretty beat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for introducing us to kayak fishing, man. You got anything to say, Nate? Sum it all up. <laughs>